Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how to check and adjust wheel bearings in your trailer. As you can see here, I've got my car trailer there and it is due for registration. So what I like doing is I like to check all the wheel bearings before I take it. Just so I don't waste my time and it's also a pretty good idea to check your wheel bearings annually on all your trailers. Now as you can see in the background there I've got a number of trailers. I've got my car trailer here which I use for a lot of different things. I've got a horse float that we're rebuilding at the moment and back here is my box trailer which I also do need and use a lot. Now before we get started with our trailer make sure you hang around right until the end of the video because I'll have a bonus tip for you right at the end. But look let's get into it. Let's check our car trailer bearings and see how we go. Now this is just a basic check to make sure the bearings are safe to use. And look, I found that this bearing here needs some work. I've already got the wheel jacked off the ground, so I'll show you what the problem is and how to check it. Now to check your wheel bearing, you just grab your wheel and you rock it back and forth, that way and this way. And if you feel any sort of rocking motion, generally your bearings will need some work. Now I know for a fact this trailer's got high quality bearings and they are in good condition and this one only needs adjusting and I'm going to show you how to do that. Grab my wheel. You can just feel a little bit of side to side motion in the bearing. You can just feel the wheel rocking. Hopefully you can hear that. There you go. It's just rocking slightly up and down. So this one will need adjusting. Now this has also got a brake on it, which doesn't really concern you guys too much. When you spin the wheel, there shouldn't be any notchiness in the bearing. If there is, if it feels notchy or rough or like it's grinding, your bearing will probably need replacing. Now this bearing here is fine. It just needs adjusting. To do that, we'll need to take the wheel off. There you go, you can feel that and probably hear it more so. Okay, it just needs tightening up. Okay, now we've got to take out the split pin, which can be a bit of a pain. There you go. You use a shifter or the right size spanner to tighten the nut up just one flat. Now keep in mind that the adjustment's a bit rough. You can either have it where it was or you rotate it to the next flat because your split pin's got to go back in there. So there's no real fine tuning adjustment. Unless you've got a problem, you shouldn't have to go two flats because that would just over tighten the tension or preload in your wheel bearing. So we've just turned the nut one flat. Let's just check it before we put it all back together. Okay, hear the difference, see the difference? That's all good. Now normally you'd put a brand new split pin in there, which is best practice, but I don't have one here at the moment, so I'm just going to reuse the one that I've got, which is not best practice, but look, sometimes you've just got to do what needs to be done. This trailer's got to be at its rego inspection in about an hour. So I don't really have much of a choice. I'll put the old split pin back in. Now 
the split pins back in one final check and look it all seems to be great now it's time to put your grease cap back on give it a bit of a clean and refit your wheel and then check it again make sure everything's fine now before we lower the trailer back down let's check the wheel bearing again that's it perfect okay I can't feel any notchiness in the bearing it runs nicely and there's no rocking around let's drop it back down and check the next one Okay, let's check this back one. Have a look at that. There's no motion at all. And let's have a listen. Hopefully the microphone will pick it up. Let's have a listen to the wheel bearing when you turn it. It's no sound at all. No grinding noises. No grittiness, no anything. Okay, that's what your trailer's wheel bearing should look like and feel like when you're checking it. We're ready to go for our rego inspection now. Now your bonus tip for any trailer is to make sure you check your lights, brake lights, number plate lights, and indicators and hazard lights before you take your trailer for an inspection because it's an easy fix and you will fail your inspection if your lights aren't working now for a larger trailer make sure you've got all the required reflectors fitted to your trailer and that they are in good condition these are about two dollars each on ebay you need orange clearance ones on the side you also need working clearance lights here you need red reflectors facing backwards and you need white reflectors facing forward and another clearance light and side reflector on the front of your trailer now this is the standard requirement in Australia Australian standards and it's look it's an easy check that you can do yourself just to make sure your trailer will pass inspection not all registration inspection places will pick you up on this you will need a splash guard on the back and it needs to be lower than the center line of your wheel as you can see that one is and this one here is probably even enough it's a little bit borderline but if your guard finished up here it would actually not be to Australian standards and they could in theory pick you up on that and fail your right where the inspection so there's a few bonus tips for you thanks for watching and bye for now